Biggest Bird Productions. God's culture. You can't be Israel and still walking in your ways. If I adopt passion, and passion has a culture, but I'm adopting her, it's not for me to adopt her culture. She has to adopt my culture, my ways, my rules, and my commandments. Right? All right, we're going to turn to John 4.22. This was Jesus talking to the woman at the well. And he told this woman, this is, this is the passion version. I kind of did it so I could break it down so y'all can understand. He told the lady, he said, you people don't really know who they worship. But we Jews are the Hebrew Yehudim. We know who you worship out of experience. For it's from the Jews that salvation is made available. Now, to be honest with you, uh, a lot of people won't agree with this, but the church as we know today, they really don't know who they worship. And that's just a fact. We're going to get into it. This truth still remains today that people don't really know who they're worshiping. The Bible says his people perish because of the lack of what? Knowledge. So it's something that his people is lacking that's causing them to perish. Everything pertaining to salvation comes through Israel. Yeah. Whether it be God's holy laws, statutes, or Yeshua HaMashiach, which is Jesus yes. Christ. Yes, yeah. All come from the bloodline in the culture of Israel. Yeah. So watch this. If we are going to truly receive true salvation, it's going to have to come through yeah. Israel. Israel's culture that Yah gave them his culture, his commandments his statutes, his judgment not American culture not the Roman culture not the European culture but Israel the, 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 the culture that God gave them Amen mm -hmm. So yes Read that from the baby. The Christian church don't really know who they've been worshiping. That's a fact. And we're feeling ready to prove it. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to say this. I believe, because I, 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 I've been there. People's hearts are pure for what they know. But the test is this. This is the test. Once you come into the knowledge of something, the honest knowledge of something would that prick your heart to change or would pride overtake you and say you know what I've been doing like this for 70, 72 years I'm going to keep on doing it mm -hmm. I have read to people like this where I can show proof and I use this analogy all the time if a person grew up believing and being taught that 2 plus 2 equals 5 and then later on in life, somebody comes to come them and be like, no, brother, that's not right. Two plus two equals five. It equals four. And they show you proof, even though that proof is in your faith, it's still going to be hard to detach that mind from that thing you was taught your whole life. That's why I'm telling you, there has to be a transformation of the mind to accept truth when it's going to smack you in your face. So let's go ahead and get into it. I know we went over this. Who is this fashion? Constantine. Constantine. You know, because who, who's Constantine, DJ? Same guy. Bless the Well, he so so kind of sorta, of, but but not quite. You know, 
Eli, you want to get a stab? You want to get a stab, babe? Okay, this is Constantine. Uh, about 320 years after death, this the pagan god, the pagan Roman emperor Constantine decided to become the head of the church. He said, this, 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 is, this is what he said. I got it. And he, I know my kids, but we're going to keep on drilling this in your head. I want y'all to understand this. This is, can be found everywhere. He said that he saw a sign in the sun. Now, why did he see a sign in the sun? Because he was a sun gazer. He was a sun worshiper. He saw a sign in the sun. And this sign told him, Okay, let me slow down. He saw a sign. He saw a sign in the sun. The sign was a cross, right? And written over the cross was these words: "In this sign, the cross, ye shall conquer." So the Roman pagan sun god worshiping Constantine said he saw the sign of the cross. And that cross gave him authority to become the head of the church, mm -hmm. which was the start of Christianity, which was the start of the Roman Catholic faith, which is Christianity. God never told us to be Christians. Nowhere. Nowhere has God told us to be Christians. He always said, if you're going to be in Christ, you'll be Abraham's seed. Uh, Romans. Uh, once the Gentiles come in, then our Israel is going to be saved. It, 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 it never said nothing about the religion of Christianity. Now, I broke this down in my last video, and I don't want to go back into it too much. But this Constantine was a sun god worshiper. All right? This is very similar to the book of Revelation, the white horse. Nor, uh, Revelation 6, uh, 6 chapter, second verse, let me read and I saw, and behold, a white horse. Mm -hmm. And he that sat on him had a bow. Mm -hmm. And a crown mm -hmm. was given unto him. Uh -huh. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. So much so that now the religion of Christianity is the biggest religion in the world. Mm -hmm. Started by who? The Roman Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Now it's written in their laws or their bylaws or uh, their books that the popes, we went on this before, but I don't think my mother ever heard this. The popes believe that they are, they have the authority of God on earth. They believe they have the authority to change God's laws. They have the authority to judge angels. Let me see that. All right, here go ahead. Uh, here we go. Throughout the centuries of Rome, Rome's existence, the popes have regularly claimed to be divine. The popes claim to be the position of God on earth in the ability to judge and excommunicate angels change or modify God's laws. If you look around, they have done that. In the book of Daniel, I'm going back over some things we already learned. The Bible speaks of, uh, he pulled up on the phone, Daniel 7, 25. It says, and it speaks words against the Most High. Mm -hmm. And it wears out the set apart ones of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And it intends to change appointed times yes, and law. Mm -hmm. And they are given into its hand for a time. Okay. So the Bible speaks of a religious system that was going to come to the earth they were going to look to change God's laws and times. Well, mission accomplished. Because they have changed God's laws so much that the church don't even teach about the laws. None of them. They have changed God's time so much that we don't never hear the church talking about God's feast days. God's holy Sabbath, set apart Sabbaths. 
that he said that this is a thing that we should do forever through all your households for all your generations Earl, how long is forever it don't end so when did it end then I mean somebody somebody put a stop to it and they changed God's Sabbath, right Go ahead. So I'm saying maybe people just didn't know. A lot of people don't know, Mama. Don't know. And this is what I'm getting to. We was brought to a nation that that worship other gods that our fathers did not know. And we were taught what they taught us. Mm -hmm. This is what you do. So it was passed down through generations. Through, this is what I'm talking about, the curse. Things are passed down from generation to generation. Because we have been bamboos and lied to. I'm sorry, we have. We've locked the ways of the Roman and Europeans, but not the ways of God. So, who did Constantine in the in the Greeks and the Romans worship? They worship Apollo. They call him God of the Sun, who is also known as Apollyon, which is spoke of in the Book of Revelation nine and one. We're gonna we're gonna get there. So hold on, let me go. The Romans and the Greeks worship the Sun God Apollo. Let's see what the Bible says about Apollo. This is uh, Revelation 9 11. He said, The king is the angel from the bottom of this pit. Who is the, who is the angel from the bottom of this pit? Satan. Satan. Wow. Now, the Bible said that Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. But he's a Angel of darkness. Now, look at. Oh, we finna, we finna go there. The king is an angel from the bottomless pit. His name in the Hebrew is Abanda. Abaddon. But in the Greek, now we're talking about the Romans and the Greek, his name is Apollyon. The same sun god. Apollo God of the sun and this started way back with Nimrod y'all know I'm always talking about Nimrod and the sun god and Tammuz and the queen of heaven this is what we get Christmas Easter all these holidays from it's from them different gods now I, got, I can prove it but I ain't got time tonight so let's keep on going now let's read this what the Greeks say about this this Apollyon. Can I get deep days young? Can you read this up, bro? You can't read it up, okay? Read the song to Irma, you got it. <laughs> read it for me, brother. Apollyon. Read, read, read it slow and loud for me. Apollyon was the same name of the god of the sun known to the Greek known oh, as. Slow down. So Apollyon was the same name of the god. Now this is what you find on the internet. They ain't trying to hide it. Apollyon was the same name of the god of the sun known to the Greeks. Go ahead. Known as Apollo or Apollo, Apollo. Apollo. Now, 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 this is very important. Now watch the nature of Apollo. Go ahead. The god Apollo acted as the, the destroyer of evil, of evil, but it was also a bringer of doom, Satan himself. So this god, Apollo, or Apollyon, acted, he acted, he acted as an angel of light instead of destroying evil. Now this is uh, this is what they wrote. They got something that they ain't trying to hide this stuff. But the thing with black folks that we don't want to read or research nothing. Now I'm speaking from experience. The church, this is what the church does. The church go to church, they do their religious claps, they religious run around the church, they religious fall out on the floor, they hear the preaching, they don't 
no remember nothing the preacher said, but they went to church that day. Or what, what, is, what is done, we go to church, we hear the preacher, and we believe what they say without proving all things. The Bible told us to prove all things. This is our nationality do. If y'all want to do y'all research, do y'all research. I'm not making this stuff up. To prove all things and hold on to that which is good. B -b -b Biggest Word Productions.